Hey everybody, we spent the morning pricking our fingers again. <laughs> this time we wanted to see what a uh, tablespoon of sugar would do to our blood glucose and ketones. And uh, we would expect it to uh, raise your glucose and, and lower your ketones, but it was actually very interesting. Very so, interesting. So we uh, got up this morning, pricked our fingers to get our, our baseline glucose and ketones, and then we drank a tablespoon of uh, sugar in our coffee, which was yucky. Yeah. And, um, uh, then we tested our blood glucose and ketones at 30 minutes, 60 minutes, 120 minutes. So let's go over real quick what the results were. All right. Um, so you were pretty typical. You were at 1.3 ketones, um, 85 blood glucose. And as you know, Becky doesn't get into, doesn't typically stay in ketosis. But for these tests, she gets herself into ketosis so that we've got some data. Yep. So the real surprising thing, uh, if you followed any of our things, you know that first thing in the morning, I am just typically not in ketosis. I'm like sometimes just knocking on the door, but not yeah. there. I was at 1.4 this morning, and that is huge for me. That is, huge that for was, me. we were and shocked. 84 glucose. So yeah. that is, those are really, really you, good numbers You had better me. blood work than I did. Yeah, yeah, so, and that, that was really surprising. Um, so at 30 minutes, um, your ketones were 1.5 and your blood 124. So your blood went up 40 points. Mm -hmm. Uh, blood glucose. Your ketones actually went up a, 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 a tiny bit. Um, me at 30 th or 30 minutes, I was at 0.7, so still in ketosis. Um, my blood uh, glucose is up to 130. So again, that's another 45, 44 points up. Mm -hmm. um, so that I mean, then that's expected, right? With a tablespoon of sugar. Mm -hmm. um, 60 minutes. Becky's ketones finally started to come down. They cut in half to 0.8. And her blood went up to uh, 138, which was the high point for her. And at that point, 60 minutes, I was at 0.3 ketones. So I was officially out of ketosis at that point. Mm -hmm. And my blood sugar, though, uh, had come down from 130 to 110. Um, so that I thought that was kind of interesting, too. Because yours was still was going up. Mine actually right. came down. Mm -hmm. so, so we waited another hour to 120 minutes. Um, Becky was ketones, it was a 0.7, so she never actually dropped out of ketosis. But I was on my way. Um, it just it trended down a tiny little yeah. bit. Um, your blood glucose was, was coming down, it was mm -hmm. at 99. So, you know, as an insulin sensitive person, um, it was doing like what it should do. Mm -hmm. uh, so me at 120 minutes, my ketones were actually at 0.5. I actually went up and back into, you know, quote unquote, nutritional ketosis at mm -hmm. that 0.5 level. And my blood glucose was down to 91. I had a better drop, uh, you know, there. So really, really interesting results. Yeah. Um, so, uh, you know, it was interesting that my ketones actually went up after 30 minutes, but that's probably because I had ketones floating around in my blood. They just right. hadn't gotten out of there yet. Right. After another 30 minutes of, of waiting, they dropped, they plummeted from 1.5 to 0.8. So right. it, I was obviously, my liver was no longer producing ketones. My body had shifted to taking this glucose for energy. Right. So you were using, you're still using, your, your, your body's still getting rid of those ketones that it's got in circulation, right. but the liver's not producing anymore. So, you know, as they're being used, the level goes down, down, down. Yep. With my numbers, now this is interesting because I've, we've been testing a new protocol. I've been testing it. Mm -hmm. Um, based on a, uh, we did a, a video some weeks ago on some research that was done on metabolism and a ketogenic diet, where they talked about uh, uh, preserving lean mass and resting metabolic rate um, in a low, low calorie situation while in ketosis. So typically in a standard diet, your, your metabolism starts to slow down, you start to lose some lean tissue when you go pretty low calories. So since I always do everything to extreme, I even lowered mine a little bit lower when that, than what they talked about in that study, um, but maintained you know uh, my ketosis uh, pretty well through that, and uh, it it seems to be from from the early morning yeah. numbers that we might be onto something here. Yeah. We're going to be we're going to be you know continue tweaking that and see what we find, and uh, um, that will most likely be uh, added into our coaching program at some point once Absolutely. we get it kind of all fine-tuned. Yeah, seems, to be, seems um, to be very effective, especially for somebody who we obviously know is insulin resistant right. to the nth degree um, and has a hard time getting into ketosis. Yeah. The other day you got yourself into ketosis at 2.1. I think that was unheard of. I don't think 
And yeah. the entire time yeah. you lost all your weight. I, I was very upset that. to be at 1.4 and know that I had to take a tablespoon of sugar and yeah. it was going to knock me out. <laughs> um, taking the sugar that, that, when we had that tablespoon of sugar in the coffee, um, like about that 30 minute mark, I was starting to feel hot. I could feel yeah. my temperature going up. Yeah, yeah. So, so you know, the, that's what it did to our ketones and glucose. But I'll tell you what, there were some other observations. Um, Keith, Keith felt hot, which, I mean, you are hot. That's Thank good. you. Um, and uh, you know what? It tasted horrible. And it, it did, but we got used to it. Yeah. Well, yeah. So, so much that when we went back to having black coffee, the black coffee didn't taste I know. that good. I know. Um, and that just shows that, you know, we don't, we don't eat sugar anymore. Um, your taste buds adapt. They do not want sugar after a while. If we were still sugar adapted, uh, it would have been no problem at all. Yeah. And, and here's the thing. We did one tablespoon. That's like 12 grams of sugar, like a Pepsi. Grab the Pepsi. What is that? Like 16? 69 grams of sugar in that. Yeah. 69 grams. That's like five times that, six times that, yeah. uh, in one Pepsi. Yeah. I think what that's doing too. So that was kind of that was kind of eye opening. Yeah. Um, yeah. So you know we're back uh, we're back on track. We're glad this one's over. Kind of felt like we were cheating a little bit. Che with with not but not having fun. Yeah. Yeah. We if you're gonna cheat, have fun. Have fun. Right. There, that's a good that's a takeaway. That's the message to take away with. All right. Hey, thanks for watching. Yep. Um, and we will be back soon with some more tests and more videos. See ya. Thanks.